The trout, the trout, the trout in the towers, the wolves of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fucked off when I was a coward. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. A <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh! Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King of the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Didn't 
Okay. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <coughs> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself.
Garrett, did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Uh, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! Still time! Seven hells. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Walter Frey says time's over. <laughs> This with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove. Must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Lord. Fresh.
That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least he'll have his bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my... Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <coughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. They are a pig farmer, aren't you? Survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived!
Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <laughs> Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester, 